Hello guys, Mike here from IC Shades. In this one, I will show you how to get a thousand gamer score for Contrast. Contrast is a puzzle platform game where you can move between a 3D world and a shadowy 2D one. We will have a full playthrough with all achievements, collectibles and luminaries. And after that, a short section only with the collectibles. Do not forget to like and subscribe. And if you're ready, let's dive into the game. When you get control of your character, turn back and interact with the code for your first collectible. Interact with the pickup. And then with the light. You can skip any cutscenes without consequences to the achievements, with one exception. When Didi is showing you a painting of her parents, but we will talk about that when we get there. Jump out the window and look at the cart. You, could go down there and move the you must switch to and shadow mode, down. RT, you in order to speed. climb down. A new dimension achievement will pop for doing that for the first time. Climb down the stairs and interact with the cart. Okay, now move the ash cart to where I can jump into it. Move it forward to help Didi climb down. Now we go and then way. follow her. Follow me. Switch to shadow while in air, so A and RT and climb. You will switch back to 3D mode and then you must switch back to shadow to climb all the way. Collect your first luminary and climb the stairs down. On the right you will find the second collectible. Go left, switch to shadow mode, climb the wheel, wait for the platform, and then get your second luminary. The illuminated achievement will pop. Jump down and on the right you will find the third collectible. You will find Didi on the right. Turn around and go right. Try to enter the dirty shop and the not that kind of game achievement will pop. Continue. Walk into the pickup. Shadow mode. Jump on the knees. On the head. And then get your third luminary. Jump down. Up some stairs and interact with some electrical box. The To the Heroes Among Us achievement will pop. Go back to Didi. Interact and enter. Somewhere on the right you will find the lights, so turn them on. Help Next, aim the lights at the band, we can't the sex the guy, and the drum guy. In shadow mode, use the drumstick to climb. Hey Spark, could you do something about that one too? It's really messing with the rhythm. Get the fourth collectible. And then repair. And aim the light to the piano guy. After the song, just go through the highlighted door. Jump down and go back to get the 5th collectible. Exit through the highlighted door and the room 529 achievement will pop. Continue on the alley and find Didi. He just went through the gate! I bet he's going to the bar. Mommy said daddy left us. 
But that's not true, is it? She kicked him out. She will ask you to break the open. fence. But you could break it open. You're pretty strong. Turn back and left. Break a different fence to get the fourth luminary. Go back and break Didi's fence pressing the B button Come on, it's this way. and enter the bar where Johnny is. Listen to the conversation. Grab the sixth collectible. And then turn the light to the left like this. Shadow mode, jump, and as you jump, exit the shadow mode to climb. Go out on the balcony. Shadow mode again. And get the fifth luminary. Go back in the building and enter the manager's office. Grab the sixth luminary, the seventh collectible, and interact with the desk to get the film reel. Go back, jump down, and destroy the fence. Thank goodness! Now we have to get the movie to him. I think he's going Use three luminaries and then go into shadow mode to cross. When you jump, you will exit the shadow mode, so in air you have to go back into shadow mode to not fall. If you do this on your first try, then now that's thinking with shadows achievement will pop. If not, you must restart from the last save game and try it one more time. Break the structures to help Didi cross. Thank goodness, it was such a big jump! Grab the 8th collectible and then jump into the void. The My God It's Full of Stars achievement will pop. Then follow Didi into the cinema. Oh. Move the hat guy on the right like this. The other two move them on the left. Climb with shadow mode. Grab the ninth collectible. Use shadow mode to go through the highlighted door. And then down the stairs. Go in shadow mode near the gangsters. Wait for them to beat up Johnny and the punching bag achievement will pop. If you don't wait, the achievement won't pop. Go back on the right. Enter the highlight door again with shadow mode and interact to put the reel on the big screen. Follow Didi and the You Broke My Finger achievement will pop. Go left. Close the last umbrella. Wait two seconds and close the other one as well. Shadow mode and climb. You can cross when the first umbrella closes. And then get the seventh luminary. Climb down 
Break the fence. Cross the bridge. And continue straight. Walk into the microphone and climb with shadow mode. Jump from the lady's head on her feet and then grab the 8th luminary. Go back and go through the highlighted door. After Diddy rings the alarm, turn back for the 10th collectible. And with that, the street sweeper achievement. All collectibles form Act 1. Turn back again and move the object in the elevator. Climb. Go right. Circle the room. And interact the first wheel. Put the shadow like this. Shadow mode to climb. This was a little annoying, it took a little practice to jump. Enter this room, climb down some stairs and get the ninth luminary. Go back. Circle the room again. Shadow mode to climb. And grab the 10th luminary. Break two doors to go outside. Why Shadow mode and jump on the shoe. I want to come home, cat. And you got another pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Then on the Life's cigarette. The past, cat, I've changed. Oh yeah? You get religious. Then on the head. I'm lonely. I miss you, baby. Arm. I'm never going to give you another reason to kick me out, I swear. And hat. Never's a big word. Feels like I heard it before. This time you're going to be nothing but proud of me. Look at this. Continue and open the door for Didi. You don't believe a word you're saying. And after the scene, a carousel of broken dreams achievement will pop. In Didi's room, grab the 11th collectible and go near Didi. This is the exception where you must not skip the cutscene. Interact with the painting, and if you don't You're skip, so the family life achievement will pop. Go downstairs and interact with the table. Interact again with the table for the 12th collectible with the coffee table for the 13th and go out. Shadow mode you. and dash. B button to go through teen shadows. Next, jump and dash, and follow Didi. Enter the tent. The This Circus is a Disaster achievement will pop. Go behind the stage and grab the first luminary in Act 2 and the 14th collectible. Exit the tent, go left, shadow mode, climb the rock, dash when the shadow is thin and get the second luminary. Rock. Dash again and go back. Oh. 
down the stairs, left and shadow mode. Use the guy with the hammer to jump. You have to jump when the hammer hits the iron thing. And grab the third luminary. Turn around. Walk into the object, shadow mode, and jump on the man's hat. On the other man's back, and the fourth luminary. Make your way through this alley to find Didi. Fifth luminary in the back. attention when he was tying it down. A carousel! I think I can turn it on. Do you have any luminaries? And then turn on the carousel. Shadow mode and use the horses to climb. Dash here. The sixth luminary. Continue on the horses. Are you okay up there? You need any help? Here, jump on this. And get the seventh luminary. Then interact with the beacon. Shadow mode, use the stars and the rocket to climb. Dash here. For the eighth luminary, shadow mode. 3D mode and shadow mode again. A slight right here, grab the Cyclops bottle for the Cyclops bottle achievement. Ninth luminary under the stairs. and then climb the stairs and untangle the balloon. You did it. Okay. Go right into the forest. Uh, she was Put right the hat here. and then go into shadow mode. After the story, go right and mine the obstacles. Chasms filled with razor sharp bamboo. Fortunately, she was a very brave princess who loved adventures, just like you. She used her wits to get past unexpected obstacles. She came to make sure you make it over the crocodiles on your first attempt for the Just Like Harry achievement. If you don't, then restart from your last save game. First mushroom, jump on the third, then on the second, and then on the branch. She learned to use some bendy tree branches to fling herself across a patch of deadly sharp bamboo. As the sun was setting, she came to the giant ogre's campsite. And there, the princess discovered that the ogre jump in front of the log and jump away when the ogre tries to hit you. Jump over him at all. Even and when he turns around, jump over to avoid but his the weapon. The princess was a woman of action, and she was nimble, and the ogre was clumsy and easy to taunt. Continue right. After several days, 
Fred's footprints led her into a dark and creepy cabin, full of strange dripping sounds, kind of like the basement at school. Her footsteps echoed and echoed. Until, Until you reach like the spikes. Wait for Didi and the narrator to finish talking, and then go to 3D World to grab the umbrella. Oh, uh, there we go. So Shadow the and Glide bravely she threw herself into the air, slowing her fall using an umbrella, just like that nanny in the movie. She floated down into the cave, deeper and deeper into the cavern. She floated. She thought she could hear Fred moaning, but maybe it was only the wind. A button to she break free from soul. the web. Right, right in again. Web. Fortunately, it was a very old web, and she was able to break free. Unfortunately, the web was Hide the here from the boulder. Giant boulder. The princess needed to find somewhere to hide. Suddenly, a giant Run from the spider. spider. Jumped out of the shadows and attacked her. She ran and climbed and jumped and climbed, but the giant spider was very good at climbing too. It had eight legs and the princess only had two. And here, destroy the webs to kill the spider with the boulder. The princess remembered how the webs were holding up boulders. Wait on the left. And then go right and free Fred. Finally, she found Fred. He was fortunate. Right again. The dragon's mountain was cold, and the wind howled at her to turn back. There were rock slides and... Go back here to not get hit by the boulder. Up and up she climbed. When she got cold, she thought about the hot buttered muffin she would make when she got Fred home. Do you still like muffins? I love muffins. You must wait on specific spots, like this one. And this one. When the princess got to the lair of the dragon, she go near the dragon, the dragon and then back. He will fire shoot fire. And after Finally, three times, Fred will be saved again. Back through the forest. And then enter the Tortuga's Revenge. On the left, he will have the 15 collectible. Grab the box. Go up. Shadow. And use the box to climb. Interact to raise the bridge. Go back to grab the box. And put it on the pressure plate. Grab the second box and put it on the second pressure plate. Spin the wheel in one direction so that the wheel will spin automatically in the other direction. You will use that. back and use shadow mode. Grab the 10th luminary and also grab a third box. If you didn't spin the wheel enough like me, you must go back and spin it some more.
Grab the box again. Shadow. And get it to the third pressure plate. 11th luminary and interact with a small boat. Climb. And interact here. From here, jump down into the treasure chest. Make sure it is open and the no backpack bird needed achievement will pop. Climb. Twelfth luminary and back up. Interact with the window. Grab the cannonball. Shadow. Put the cannonball down in shadow mode so that the claw is above it and interact with the mechanism again. Then interact with the small boat again. Go down and grab the cannonball. Circle the room. Shadow. Drop the cannonball in the shadow. Interact and rotate so that the cannonball will be at the platform level. Go and grab it and put it in the cannon. Thirteen luminary. Use three luminaries to open the door and follow Didi. The 14th luminary here and the 15th here. On the left, the 16th collectible and being the last in this act, the groundskeeper achievement pops. I knew it. Interact here I knew it when Didi gives simple. you the signal. The handy person achievement pops for fixing the three attractions. Go back in the tent. Follow Didi as you start Act 3. First luminary on the right. After you enter the solar machine, go back. Climb the stairs. And get the second luminary. Back. Downstairs and left for the third. Back. Left. Go into the gun, shadow, 
jump on the lady's head. Jump on the man's head and get the fourth luminary. Now go back to Didi. Use the luminaries and operate the device putting the shadows like this. Grab the ball, go into the shadow and put the ball here. Interact with the device one more time to get the ball up and then arrange the shadows like this. Go into the shadow Take the ball and put it here. Circle the room like this in shadow mode. Go down and grab collectible number 22. Move this object here. Shadow mode. You have to get the timing perfect, otherwise you die. Then interact here, continue, shadow, and use this man to jump over. Collectible number 26. Up the stairs, open the door, shadow, jump through this opening, grab collectible 19, and continue forward. After the cutscene, the how do you get in achievement pops. From the workshop, go left and up the stairs. Down the stairs, left and right. Into the lighthouse. Shadow to enter. Interact on the left. Move the light on the box and try not to interact with the focus light point. Then grab the box, go into the shadow and drop the box there. Use the light to move the box in the bigger area. Then put the light in the focus point. Grab the box and put it on the pressure plate. This will lower the stairs. Climb and wait for the light to come. Go into the shadow. Grab the box. Go into the shadow again and circle the room.
put the box on the pressure plate for the second set of stairs. Climb the stairs. Grab collectible 20 and interact with the level. Climb some stairs again. More stairs. Collectible 21. Collectible 17. Pull the lever, go into the shadow fast and dash from light to light. And then get collectible 23. Ups and stairs. 24. and 25. Go back and interact with the second pipe. Go into the shadow and move right. Last collectible, number 18, and with it, the bookkeeper achievement. Go back. Go down. And grab this box. Put it down here. Go through the door that just opened and interact with the first pipe. Grab the box. Go into the shadow and drop the box. Use the light gun to move the box on the upper level. LT to focus. And then put the light in the focus point. Go to the upper level. Grab the box and put it in the shadow. Go to the second light gun to move the box. Put the light in the focus point. Then go and grab the box and put it on the pressure plate. Jump in the shadows and start climbing. Are you coming home? You will climb on Dee's parents. You will use Dash. Shadow stairs. You think you're gonna jitterbug your way back to our lives? Didi's parents again. How can I believe you, Johnny? Your lips are moving.
and eventually reach the lighthouse top and put the light on the big stage. After that, the Let There Be Light achievement pops. Go back to the stage, follow Didi backstage, follow her some more, and after the last cutscenes, when the credits start to roll, the last achievement, FIN, pops. We will now recap the collectibles achievements. There are three, one for each act. So, in act one, we have ten collectibles. The code, just after you start the game, as you make your way to Didi on the right on a wall. A little closer to Didi on the right as well on a table. In the ghost note upstairs. After the song under the staircase. In the jazz bar. Manager's office jazz bar. At the cinema's entrance. Cinema upper level. At Excelsior if you turn back after you enter. If you got them all, the street sweeper achievement pops. In Act 2, we have 6 collectibles. In Didi's room, start of the act. In Didi's house, downstairs, one on the table and one on the coffee table. In the tent, As you enter Tortuga's Revenge on the left and before you finish Tortuga's Revenge also on the left. After that the Groundskeeper achievement pops. In Act 3 we have 10 collectibles. In the workshop lower level. In the workshop after you jump over the janitor. In the workshop, near the big mechanism, close to the end of the workshop level. In the lighthouse, after you climb two sets of stairs. After another set of stairs, two collectibles. One level higher, one more. One more level, two collectibles. at the last level, the last collectible and the bookkeeper achievement. And that's it guys, 1000 gamer score for contrast. Hope it was useful and until next time stay frosty and extra spicy.